<laughs> this just gets funnier every time. I love how they just keep they keep doing it. This intro, sort of like the the prelude to pain and sadness. Oh, there's a twist. I don't know. It's there's something about it that's just so genius. Oh, oh, they almost kissed. They almost kissed. I feel like we're almost there. Just another three seasons. There's a broader thing in this too that it's just so deliciously high school. You know, it's like caring is bad. <laughs> like. It's kind of beautiful, looking at it as a whole. Even things that are ridiculous are good in the sense that it, it's a step in the right direction, even if it's kind of at an adjacent angle. Speaking for myself, having gone through the phase of I'm too good for everything, nothing matters, I feel was in its way a healthy reaction to being overwhelmed by the unbelievable magnitude of what I was realizing life to be and being for the first time struck with my own insignificance and weakness. What are you supposed to do with that? You throw it away and you don't need it. And then you actually can find some kind of cool identity in that. And that gives you a little bit of space. And then as you gain strength, you can slowly start to do the difficult and terrifying work of actually caring about things. And like I said in the last episode, I feel like that's where a lot of the real sweetness of life is. It's just that it also contains a lot of risk, hence the massive fear that comes with this kind of thing, or anything that is valuable. Anything that is sort of at that height of desire. Ara! I only got one out of this time. Shirogen and Miyuki still hasn't done it. Oh, we're gonna go into the virgin thing. <laughs> The whole country. Just throwing the whole country into the bus. She was blown away by the magazine's offensive power. <laughs> Indeed. I sort of doubt it. This girl has a mind for science. This guy has a mind for science. <laughs> that seems reasonable to me as well. Oh, she's so casual about it. Well, what? What is happening? He's studying zip codes at a moment like this? Was that one of those moments where to process a thought means dying? Don't let it in. Don't let it in. Don't let the existential dread in. <laughs> I didn't land the way she wanted it to. Oh, I should have known. When am I going to learn that everything is a ploy for Kukuya? Is this how you want it? This is the this is the motivation you want to instill in our Miyuki? That is actually really clever. Wow, I've learned something today. Powerful tool. Thank you, Miyuki. This is a juicy topic. <laughs> It's fun, and it's very relatable. This is a little bit tough to talk about, but I remember how big of a topic this was in high school, and I remember how pervasive it was, not only to my peers, but like to society. It's like there's so much emphasis placed on sexual behavior. It's kind of pervasive to at least American culture, but I think much broader than that. I have a not insignificant amount of regret about the way I conducted myself romantically in the past. To put it bluntly, I think I had a way too casual attitude about sex. And I think some of that was just good old-fashioned hormones and just natural desire and that part I sort of have squared away like I'm okay with that I also don't want to say I have any problem with sexual behavior I have no judgment about it one way or the other what bothers me is the fact that I think not all of my motivation was that there is another part of it that's unhealthy which I think was actually this kind of pressure you know I think somehow I internalized the message that there was value I could gain through increased sexual activity as a human being and I am embarrassed by how feeble-minded I was to have taken that on and I think actually the opposite occurred where there was some value lost not permanently you know like I am who I am and I'm fine and I'm able to have really good relationships but there's something about it that kind of nags at me there was an image similar to what's being put forth in the show about the link to popularity and seeing oneself as desirable and being kind of worldly or being mature that actually when peeled away is kind of juvenile but it's one of those things that's hard to understand except in hindsight like if you go to someone who has a lack of something and it's bothering them and you tell them well actually you don't need this thing they're not going to be able to believe it it's like people who are insanely wealthy talking about how their wealth doesn't bring them any joy <laughs> people who desire to be wealthy are like oh yeah easy for you to say so perhaps it's just one of those lessons in life you have to learn through time but as is often the case with things that i feel moved to talk about the reason it's important to me is because i feel like there's an overabundance of the other side i feel like it's an idea that's so taken for granted that there's somehow some value to begin through promiscuity oh no i've done it again i've made this lighthearted rom-com <laughs> heavy and dark <laughs> But yeah, virginity, it's, it's terrible and we should lose it as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh my god, what is in that cake? <gasps> oh!
Or why did I immediately know what that was? <laughs> that girl pulled a Cartman, but for very different reasons. Well, it's not your abs. If I had grown up in a place where getting good grades and being at the top of your class meant having greater romantic dating potential, I feel like there definitely would have been an impact on my grades. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Virgin, my early high school years. Oh, but that's a direct question. I, uh, I'm not, I, I have done it not once, not at this moment, or whatever. A gentleman never tells? I'd rather not talk about it. I mean, those are all valid options, though. Oh, what? What kind of joke is that? Oh, she doesn't know what they're talking about. Holy crap. She doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. That's what it is, right? It's not talking about... Okay. Kissing. Kissing? Is she kissing her nephew? <laughs> yeah, you should figure this out from that. She wouldn't admit that. She wouldn't do it, first of all, but... Okay, you know what I mean. And you're doing a great job of that on your own. Not just a, any kiss, like a peck. That's kind of adorable. She accidentally raised her own value there. <laughs> she blushes at the birds. <laughs> Wait till she learns about holding hands. Let her live in, in blissful ignorance for a little while. It's a big day. <laughs> Miyuki just can't even stand it. Indeed. <laughs> so she knew about it on some level. She knows about marriage. I love it. so many things are the opposite. And she wins. Kaguya wants him to guess right. Can I take a guess? I don't even know the question. I'm gonna guess 70 pounds. What is that in kilograms? 31 kilograms. I don't know if that's a reasonable body weight. To be fully honest, one of my darkest secrets is I never learned measurements. I also never learned the weather. I don't understand what people mean when they talk about weather measurements. I have to follow up with the question like, is, is that hot? <laughs> but see, if knowing the weather and knowing measurements would have gotten me girls, I would know them by now. <laughs> Busy having her first time with Pez. This is another setup. Starting to catch on. So is her. What was with that flashback? Oh, is it actually going to be weight? It could be height too. Or not. He probably knows more than she thinks and less than he thinks. This could be fun. Hopefully I do better at this than with rock, paper, scissor. This is cute. They're like actually interacting. That was very specific. My heart, the burning fire in my eyes. No. Oh. How many we got left? Is it you, Miyuki? Oh, that's not it. 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 that's not that's Wait, you don't get that one back? That was unfortunate. Maybe it's the pawn. What is his stance? <laughs> He's gonna look hella arrogant when he says this. Damn it, I lose again. <laughs> well done, Miyuki. I feel like that was a wash. Nothing really came out of that. Although they interacted. That felt like the most natural of all of their interactions so far in the first three episodes. They were actually playing and having what seemed like a good time instead of this weird supremacy battle. Kaguya wants to walk. A mm, little bit stifled, huh? I kind of pissed off. This unspoken communication. <laughs> She's putting this guy in a weird position. Gotta think about his job. 
I don't understand how you could be that happy going to school, though. I guess things are different when you're at the top. Never miss an opportunity to play a game with Miyuki. All jokes aside, though, I was actually just talking to a friend about this, about how one thing I want to start incorporating into my life again is something that simulates commutes. Because I feel like when I was living in New York and taking the train every day, and then walking to the station and walking home from the station and everything in between, it was surprisingly a really important time to kind of decompress and just think. You know, like have time to think. I feel like a lot of good came out of that. In a way, I, I don't think I ever fully appreciated it, except for later on. There have been times in my life where I've been really into meditation, but thinking about it a little bit, I think in a way I've always been into it in some form. It doesn't have to be like a discrete act and process of meditation. There's just something about having moments of non- mental occupation where you're kind of just free because your brain is always working on stuff. It can be a little bit terrifying to think about, but for me, I feel like my brain has like a couple layers that are on the surface and are conscious, but then there's a lot kind of happening behind the scenes. Anyone who's ever done math proofs or something similar knows the feeling of an answer suddenly popping to mind, even though you weren't consciously thinking about it. It's because there's there are processes always on. And when they have something for you that they think is good, they kind of push it up to the surface. And I feel like it's in moments like walks to school and things of that nature that I often experience that. But she is fully occupied with this, so. Not necessarily a meditative act for her. Someone help this girl before she turns into Shigaraki. No! And that's how villains are made. She is going to bring about the apocalypse. There you go. My parents. <laughs> Sorry, I was dark. I remember my first time crossing a street. These two have something in common. I have the same thought. There's Yeti. You can do it. We believe in you. Wait for the green light. Don't stop in the street. <laughs> I see now why they were made to travel in groups. <laughs> God, this is the most eventful going to school process. I feel like I've been to that exact street. Just skip school! You know, you could do it for a day. If you think that's fun... What's going on with this exactly? Huh. Oh, there he is! Going at full speed because he's also late. Now you can both skip school together. Oh, but he, she can get on his bicycle. <laughs> that's me every time I upload a video. School before society. This is the most serious I've seen anyone take school attendance since that true and kid mob. Yeah, walking to school is overrated. <laughs> take your take your limo. <laughs> your, your private car is pretty cool. It's air conditioned. Whoa! What is this? I was not expecting this. But why though? I'm not complaining, but. <laughs> This is really cute. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. Such a nice little bonus. Love Detective Chica. My Q might be three, but I'll handle it. That's a weirdly great confidence boast. <laughs> I want to believe this is part of the story. Like, she just. This actually happened. This is not an ending screen. This is what she does when people are not around. And she manages to save an insect in the process. Well, she's a love detective, but does, does she know what's going on right under her nose? Why was that so great? <laughs> that was so unexpected, but really well done. It kind of touched my heart a little bit, not gonna lie. They didn't need to do that, but they did, and we're all better off for it. And she's now my favorite character ever. Also, that line about her IQ being three wouldn't be over. I love anyone who can be confident about what other people would perceive as shortcomings. Ironically, there's an intelligence to that, if that makes sense. So that was a really nice episode for a couple of reasons. One, I love the fact that we had some more genuine engagements. And for the first time, we had a kind of out of the office adventure. A more subtle look, I guess, and characterization for, for Kaguya. The premise is so great. I think will be the real test of how much depth it has beyond just being really fun and funny and kind of tongue in cheek insightful look at dating is how deep the characters can go and I get the sense that they're kind of hiding that a little bit to kind of create a pleasant fun tone but in this episode I'm feeling hints that there's gonna be a lot of real heart for the characters that well and that's that's super exciting so can't wait to see what is coming up for Kaguya Miyuki and our low IQ high offense capability amazing dancer pawn <laughs> <laughs>